Welcome to a 30 day noob improvement journey. Today is day six and we are practicing sniping. So in this video, I'll be showing you what I've been doing to try to get better. And if you take on these tips, I'm sure you're gonna get better too. So let's get into it. So before we get into it, I just wanted to show you that I've now got three wins. So if you remember my first day, I had zero wins and I played since season four. So certainly this journey has improved uh, my gameplay and uh, I'm really pleased. So hopefully this will do the same for you if you've been following. So in creative mode, we're looking at different um, distances for practicing your sniper shooting and using the notches on the rifle to um, work out the distances. So we're practicing from near range, mid range, further away. This is further away here and you can see we're having to aim slightly further above the target's head and uh, allowing for the bullet drop to uh, to cover the distance there and uh, you can see that uh, that is certainly higher above the head than it was for the ones closer up and as you get further away you'll see it's even further up higher but you do really need to just start doing this yourself and playing about with it because it is very hard to um, work it out just on the notches so um, practice about with it and see how you get on so um, just when you're standing there I've played about a little bit and uh, you can see that in line with the shoulders the top of the shoulders and if you draw a line from the top of the shoulders in effect and the middle of the elbow um, and where those two lines meet is roughly where your um, your aim will be going so when you're stood, or stood there or, and you're thinking about aiming or you're in a game and you're running um, you can use that as a rough guide to um, where the target is going to be or where the aim is going to be and so um, to start with just work that out and start running around and shooting signs and rocks and anything you can just to get used to um, lining up the shot and then quickly taking a shot so um, I spent probably about half an hour just running around doing this um, in different games and uh, I found that I was lining it up while I'm running and this made things a lot easier um, to be ready to shoot rather than just lining up a shot and moving it around for ages before shooting because um, quite often someone's going to get a shot off on you first so I just kept on running around and taking shots and being close to where the target is going to be so I had to move it less before shooting and um, using this is obviously during a game does draw attention to you but to my mind that's a good thing because you then got moving um, targets to practice on as well so certainly um, worth doing this in a game as soon as you get a sniper just keep on practicing and aim for smaller objects as well these mushrooms are good to aim for and that just allows for even more precision so um, I think worthwhile and um, when you've got players running like that try and um, guess where they're going to be running into and put the bullet in front of them when they move obviously it's easier when they're standing still so that does make life a lot easier and when they crouch and stay still as well certainly does help so trying to predict where people are going to be um, does help with the aiming so you can look for where they're going to go and uh, try and be ready for when they turn up there and um, the team rumble is an excellent way of practicing with the sniper because once you get a sniper in your hand and you're in team rumble you do have lots of targets to aim for and uh, so obviously if you uh, get killed you can respawn with the same weapons and uh, that allows for the best effective practice uh, to my mind so I uh, certainly do recommend getting into a limited time mode and getting into um, practicing with the sniper as best you can and uh, that you'll see there I rush the shots I don't rush the shots I mean try to be quick as you can without being too quick that you just end up uh, missing so uh, it's a, it's a, this is why practicing and taking as many shots as you can really does help um, again in creative I did this but you could do this in a game um, just getting into um, shooting the sniper and then following it straight up with the AR and uh, that is, is something that I've not really done I've tended to 
use the sniper and then hope that I've hit and just watch down the scope but uh, it's good practice just to shoot and then get straight into the AR and uh, so practice that in creative if you want to or into a game when you're practicing with the uh, aiming and uh, I do recommend practicing that to get better also. So the next step is when you've been practicing your aim, it's just getting into your games and just when you get a sniper, start taking the shots. So um, I really do believe that the more shots you take, the more you learn how, where the bullet goes. And um, whether you're, you know, if somebody's running, you're tending to shoot too early or too late. Um, so do just keep taking shots and it doesn't matter if you miss you just reload and take another shot so do get into a game and start firing and uh, that is probably out of the whole video one of the biggest tips because I've spent quite a few games with Team Mumble as soon as I get a sniper I'm uh, firing away and uh, that is a, a, a big thing to me um, to just keep doing and you'll see with this player I've, I've followed I, I know he's a, a bot there um, but actually it's good target practice and uh, I had quite a few shots at him you'll see here and uh, eventually some of them did actually land now he is quite far away but uh, this was excellent practice and really did find it useful to um, try and judge the distance in front to shoot and that was quite a long shot and another one comes up in a second which um, is also quite even further away so um, uh, I think this is quite a beneficial tip. It's just to keep on firing and uh, practicing and, and learning the distances, etc. So, so yeah, that was the long one there. And so that is how I think you're going to get better and how I feel like I've improved. Still a long way to go, but certainly getting better by um, firing the shots and keep firing. And and uh, yeah, the one thing with the bots is that they just run in a straight line. So that does help lining up the shots but um if you're playing a game and you know someone's got a sniper in hand do zigzag don't keep on um uh, running a straight line next thing when you're in a box is to try and peek with the sniper and and uh move up and down out of your box to try and get a sniper there and um being obviously aware the faster somewhere someone is moving the harder it is going to land to be land uh landing your shots but uh, still worth giving it a go like i did there although i didn't land again take those shots and learn from it if you can, do try to pre-aim your shot through your build um, or around corners where you can and uh, then take the shot. It means you're not going to be exposing yourself too much and uh, you can fire away without being risking being uh, hit too easily. So um, try doing that as well. And uh, then it is just a case of getting into games and practicing. So if you've been following my uh, previous videos, you'll know that we normally do practice a focus point and then go into Team Rumble and a then start 10 solo games. Now we're not going to do all of that now. We're going to still do the focus point and go into Team Rumble to practice the focus point, but I'm not going to do the 10 solo games anymore because the aim of that was to get my first solo win and we achieved that and have got three wins in total now. So um, I'm going to do the focus point in all videos still and go into team rumble to practice it but uh, probably won't be um, doing the 10 games anymore um, because we achieved the first solo win and we beat my um, solo game uh, highest kill of three and uh, now uh, we managed to get to six in a solo game and I'm aiming to beat that so I think I'll probably show you those videos as and when but uh, I hope this has been useful and if you find any uh, value in this videos please do, do please do subscribe and uh, I'll leave you with the tips okay and uh, yeah please do subscribe like the page and any comments I, I will respond thanks